Everyone, welcome back to another episode of Last Down of Survival. Today we return Poisoner Girls, ladies and gentlemen, and we were urinating. I hope you guys are seeing a fan freaking fantastic day of the most amazing variety. In case you're wondering how in Tarnation I'm going this fast, no, it is not a hack or anything. There is a glitch uh, should be popping up on the screen right now. Actually, the video where I show off how to do it. Long story short, you're opening a chest. While in the process of opening, swap between like the sledgehammer and the saw blade mace, and your speed just keeps on going up. It may have been patched by now. I don't know because the only way to fix this is to die and uh we have yet to die so that is pretty good but we have yet to also get a revenge raid which is a little bit poopy but that ain't gonna stop us from raiding today we're still gonna go out and we are gonna try and acquire ourselves some goodies over in that way shape form or fashion and as you guys can see from the inventory we're looking pretty ready unfortunately we haven't been able to get anything big in terms of new attachments i am still working my way towards those if you guys have any specific attachments you'd like me to work towards definitely let me know i think i'm gonna be saving my lenses though to try and save up for some of these very special active mods over here for the pistol because there are i think the pistol has a couple of active mods in that form the shotgun only has one but uh whatchamacall i think it might be the m4 that i'm thinking of that also has some very special scopes as we are seeing right there so that is cool but speaking of those active mods boy oh boy do i have something cool to show y'all boom what you guys are seeing right here was posted earlier by Kafir, and this is a video showcasing and showing off all of these different and dope alicious mods that is right and specifically if you guys pay attention this isn't just any mods being shown off we are seeing some of the special active skill mods actually being shown off during this process which is huge because currently they do not actually exist in the game they're most likely going to be coming in a future update most likely the first update that we're going to be getting is going to be the radio tower update and then by the looks of it i'm going to be guessing the farm update maybe the farm update will actually bundle some of these active skill mods together with it but if not i could definitely see this being the third update on the plaza because they have been going pretty hard with the farm promotion developing that stuff and it's looking like it's pretty close to being ready from everything that we have seen but as you guys are seeing there are a variety of things i think we see the shotgun active skill i think we even see one on the vss we saw a special scope over on the m4 even a bayonet on the kalashnikov not to mention the special power for the saw blade as you guys, we saw the pistol right there for a split sec and another one so why don't we go ahead and slow this roll a little bit and take things piece by piece so boom what you guys are gonna be seeing here is the first thing that i wanted to point out i want you guys to pay attention to if you look on the left hand side of the screen this is the very first couple of frames of the video that i was just showcasing off to y'all you can see the weapon shelf and on the weapon shelf two very notable items number one the pistol in the upper right hand corner the type of sight that, that is rocking is one of the active skill slash active mods that do not yet exist in the game but that is kind of the common theme of this video while it is in general supposed to show off attachments it seems that kind of like the underlying and i'm not going to say quote unquote hidden but they didn't advertise this as showing off active mods this is just kind of like a promotion showing off all the mods and you know how dope that they are but it does go a little bit deeper where you do pay attention specifically when you pay attention below the pistol and notice that that m4 has a grenade launcher attached to it oh yeah that is right there is or something some sort of under barrel but honestly by all means and accounts that seriously does look like it's going to be a grenade launcher from all of the modern warfare 2 i played back in the day that is a prime looking noob tube that i am seeing but let's go ahead and move on to the next thing that we're going to be seeing right here this is going to be the clash nikov with access to the the under mounted grenade launcher so it looks like the kalashnikov is going to be getting one of these and then we saw the m4 is going to be getting one as well so by the looks of it it looks like the rifles are going to have access to some of the grenade launchers we haven't actually seen them on a scar yet but maybe that'll change because currently as we were looking uh through the m4 a little bit earlier the m16 i always forget which m it is it didn't actually currently have a grenade launcher so either they're going to be adding that onto it and they're potentially going to be adding it onto other rifles like the scar as well or maybe that wasn't the m16 at all maybe that was the m4 because in the roadmap that kafir did reveal a little while back there was plans for a new gun specifically a new rifle to be added i believe the m4 16 whereas we are using the m16 I, i'm honestly i might be getting this backwards but all i know is that the m that's currently in the game they are adding another rifle with m i'm pretty sure it's m4 but again 
I might be crazy, but that's besides the point. That's not as much debate to go. I, I am pretty nutty. But anyways, uh, this grenade launcher is going to be looking pretty dope. But I kind of wanted to start kind of breaking things down and seeing what these active mods might be doing. The grenade launcher seems to be relatively straightforward what it's going to do because active skill mods, by the looks of it and by the sounds of it, are going to give you the ability for an active skill, potentially one that replaces your left skill, which is like sneak or auto, for example, or the right skill, which is sneak or sprint or something, or the left, which is like auto in the lower left hand and lower right hand corners of the screen. This could potentially be giving us additional active skills that we can use. And probably the active one for this is pretty straightforward. It's probably going to be a grenade launcher that you can literally shoot and it will go boom. And the boom will be absolutely marvelous. And then next up, what we are seeing is actually the active mod for the shotgun. Upon a little bit of closer inspection, it actually looks like it looks a little bit weird and it's kind of hard to tell, but it is that thing over on the front to the right of the tan grip at the end of the barrel. And honestly, from looking at it, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what it's going to be doing. But the best thing that I could take a guess of is if you guys look below the barrel where the barrel normally is, there is a second barrel like object below that as well. So my best guess for what this one's honestly going to be doing is it's going to serve as kind of a potential for the double pump where you can literally give someone some double barrel action, kind of like the classic double barrel shotgun that is a beloved one across video games and history and all that type of jazz. That honestly makes pretty great sense to be an active skill just when like every once in a while it regenerates you can go ahead and pump someone fill with twice the lead that you would have before potentially having an increased chance of critical damage but i'm guessing it's probably gonna like double the damage output every once in a while so that could be very cool indeedly do then boom next up we have the ak firing with the bayonet attached to the bottom bayonet active skill is and this is also the first time we are seeing these active skills in game which is another reason i really did want to kind of highlight them and show off what they're going to be looking like here because this does seriously give us the best look that we've had so far because before this all that we've known is that the attachments are in the attachment list we can't learn the blueprints we can't even see what they would look like on our guns until now bam that probably pretty straightforward it's gonna allow you to do some sort of i'm gonna guess a very powerful melee attack or maybe like a freaking charge where you can charge straight into someone honestly that'd be pretty dope kind of like back in battlefield one where you could like freaking ah charge with your bayonet potentially you could see something like that happening because i mean just stabbing someone unless that stab is doing crazy damage i don't know if that's going to be worth the act worth the active skill but if it gives you some super sprinting as you charge and do a ton of damage after charging into someone that's a different story especially when you still have your ak out filled with bullets and ready to bring some pain next up on the list we have the vss over here now the vss does not look like it is doing anything super nutty over here it does look relatively normal by all accounts because there is that kind of like under attachment for like a green laser of something of the sort but that doesn't appear to be the green laser that adds an active skill to the vss so this is just kind of a shot of the vss shooting so they did mix in a couple of just like normal weapons that look super dope because they're super modified amongst the video but hidden amongst those are those active skill ones that we are actively seeking out so i'm gonna go ahead and move on to this which is gonna be the active mod or the active skill mod for the saw blade specifically what's it gonna do well it looks like it will be motorizing actually the saw blade in some way shape or form and it does add that little like handle thing at the bottom that looks like you can press it to activate so pretty straightforward it just seems like you're going to be able to inflict tons of damage potentially attack very fast as this axe is my best guess would be a chainsaw or something horrifying like that but there is potential for something else the metal cutter something big is something huge especially for those of us who have tried doing raids and encountered steel walls just to be met with the hey you need a metal cutter to break across that and the metal cutter has been uh, we've seen concept arts of it before but has not yet been added it's the game however what if this is it because it does appear to have all the similar characteristics of the uh, metal cutters that we have seen in the past like the concept art metal cutter and it does appear to have a motorized blade that I mean, if it's motorized fast enough, we'll be able to cut through steel. That is my best guess. Those are, those are two options that I'm seeing that could realistic, realistically come out of this active mod for the saw blade. If there's anything else that you guys are having, in, it doesn't even have to be restricted to this. Any ideas you guys have for absolutely anything at all, I would absolutely love to hear from y'all in that comment section down below regarding your own thoughts and whatnot. But then we can head over to the bow. The bow over here is going to be having, uh, well, it's using the very, it's using the special bow string which is going to be allowing some sort of active skill it is very hard to tell what an active skill will be for a bow 
just the, from the string. So maybe like a guaranteed critical at like max of damage or something. It's hard to tell, but it's going to be interesting because the bows are one of the cheaper items to craft. So if this active skill mod is powerful enough, it could make bows come uh, back in prevalence a little bit more and something that we might even be using a little bit more ourselves, especially since I believe they are silenced during use at raids. So if it could be a cheap raiding item, I mean, I mean, the attachment's probably gonna be pretty expensive to build, but once it's built, I mean, all you have to do is build a bow to toss it on. It could be a worthy investment. And finally, we are seeing the pistol with the mythical sight that I was showing off earlier, the sight that I want in my possession because currently the sights for the pistol are not looking that nutty but there are two of the sights extremely rare kind of similar like this in that they they're, they're they're weird like this because they don't go on the actual pistol shutter it looks like they go kind of they're attached to the under of the pistol and the shutter stays which makes me wonder if this is like a specific attachment to allow the pistol to kind of like shoot back and whatnot so maybe it'll lead to increased range increased accuracy potentially a lot more increased criticals and stuff because if you think about it before sights are on like the top of the pistol which like moves back and forth when you shoot at least if we're talking about like a realistic pistol right whereas it looks like what this will be doing is actually not like it won't be affected like the sight will not be moving when the gun shoots but what active skill will it have honestly i'm not entirely sure it's kind of hard to tell what active skills these would give except maybe a very powerful headshot that's the best guess that i can get but there you have it all the information to be extracted from that video can't wait to see what y'all gotta say about your guys' own thoughts about especially about what active skills you think that they might be bringing to the table i'd absolutely love to hear that from y'all in that comment section it's down below your guys' thoughts on my thoughts your guys' original thoughts and that type of jazz and in my life Push your third of the way. It's a week of twelve dollar. At some such place store gift card. Give all you gotta do is always make sure like button. Make sure subscribe. That actually would on today's video. I'll go ahead and turn on every single last Earth video. What set of rules are I pick right up video from the best we pick a right up cover for a right up video. It's that. We'll be the winner for the week, and we'll kick off the weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with every single Last Down Earth episode that does come out, which will give you a chance to enter in on every single one of them into the giveaway. Give you a chance to stay as up to date with the latest of information as possible, since I try to keep y'all as updated on the happenings as can be, and of course, the latest of gameplay of the newest updates as soon as those come out as well. Not to mention other dope survival games as well, like Westland Survival, Grim Soul, and even more. Seven days to die that's getting a huge update too but that's besides the point the point is here we are and active skill mod hype aside and let me just say it's hard to put that hype aside because really i am very very hyped for that thing to come to fruition because those seem like they might be the cream of the crop those seem like they might be the very best mods that the game will have to offer and me being me i want to see exactly what they're going to do and what they will be able to offer but in the meantime what i'm going to be able to offer Offer is a raid to your lads and lassies specifically though a raid that we need to mod our pistol for but ooh, let's go ahead and get you guys the bucket code for today as well today's bucket code is gonna be 45893 if that's out of date by the time you guys are putting it into the bunker terminal thingy my bob make sure to go ahead and check that comment section down below where there's a fan freaking fantastic community of people known as the snipe gang trying to always help each other out and keep it 100 keep it fan freaking test go ahead and check below since there's almost always at least what i'm checking an up-to-date code down there and if not you can be the fan for fantastic person that is super helpful to the tell the people around these parts but with that said with that done there's a chopper that needs to get to driving and there's a raid that needs to get it's a raid and specifically some walls that gotta get to being broken and ooh he's got a default name okay okay not i'm not saying that this suddenly means he's gonna be trash but he does have a default main meaning maybe he hasn't played enough to you know decide to change his name or something and maybe he'll have a couple anniversary gifts lying around maybe some guns maybe some weapons maybe some not stone walls because currently there is a little bit of a c4 shortage going on please leave a message after the beep and please don't give me a steel bait. Oh, very. Okay. I don't even know what's going on there, but it looks like he's got access to steel and stone surrounding this lad's base. Oi, the mad lad. But by the looks of it, oh, no, no, no. We're going to be dating. No. 
we need C4 to break into this base. Dang it! I seriously wish that was an option because sometimes when you don't have C4 on your hands, you still want to go on a raid, at least when your name's Papa Star. And I don't know, I imagine some of you guys, especially since C4 is not the easiest thing to grab, would find that handy, but... Mm. Here's the thing, I can't make any noise because if I make noise, then I think if I drive away, this raid will disappear. And that is a bit of a problem because currently, we don't really have uh, anything to break into here with, which is, come on fam, how you gonna do me like that? And I don't know how the game's gonna do me like that, but it has been done. But at the very least, since we haven't made any noise and since we know from the get-go that we are gonna need C4, the good news is we can drive away, right? And this raid's still gonna be there. Driving away will not force it to disappear unless I have the worst luck in the world, which honestly might be a reality, but I'm just trying to make sure that there's still like stone. Yeah, it's looking like there's stone. Honestly, it's looking like steel. Dang, man, this guy might have a steel base, honestly. Ah, he might have steel. I can't tell if he's like, I, you guys see that in the corner? I know it's really hard to tell, but that is steel because compared, the doorways look like steel too, but then that turns to stone. Two very, very different colors, which makes me worry. Because if he has if he has steel, that means his best stuff might be hidden behind that. Sure, we might still be able to actually break into the base, but I mean usually if you have steel, you're putting your best stuff in the steel and I don't know, this guy hasn't changed his name. I'm guessing he doesn't have a ton of amazing things. I mean, I probably should be saying that. He does appear to have a pretty, uh, a pretty nice shindig going. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's the game plan. All right, mm, this oak clearing, I low key actually want to go to because this oak clearing has not been popping up a ton lately and I still have yet to get the oak clearing event that has Tom. And to be fair, we have a poop ton of hatchets anyway, might as well put it to work with a little bit of oak and we don't need to worry about this respawning for the next seven hours and 46 minutes. So that is good. And the good news as well with this raid is that if I log off while, uh, whatchamacall, on the base or whatever, it will actually not disappear. Like the timer won't even start going down, which should mean that technically speaking, we should have more than seven hours and 45 minutes to get that C4. So hopefully should all go well, I'll be able to acquire the proper goods and go ahead and go to the big boom in the next one but so for now hello oak clearing how do you do i got the kalashnikov with your name on it but ah i know it, mm, it hurts man to be fair we are using our c4 quite a lot because we are raiding on the daily but ah it just sucks being short on c4 to come across the base like that. that's why i really i'd love to see him incorporate something where you know if you don't come with c4 you you get a base like maybe it's not as obviously it shouldn't be as powerful and hello we gotta deal with these guys it obviously shouldn't be as good of a base as the ones that like have stone walls protecting it but i mean it, it does suck that you kind of need C4 to go on raids ever since 1.8.6. Maybe, maybe my perspective's just different. We grew up, I've, I've been playing ever since the beginning of raiding and its incorporation. Let me just say, back in the day, man, you'd get good raids just for, just for bringing the hatchets. It was, it was the greatest thing. Now, C4 is pretty much a necessity to even get a half decent raid. This is no longer the golden days of raiding. Back in the day, that's when the large amounts of loot were to be had. But you can't come across a very good base nowadays, too. That does have lots of stuff. Like, we got, dude, all those uh, forest skills or whatnot that allowed us to freaking, whatchamacall, max out all of our forest skills and led to us getting sprint. Not too shabby, I tell you what. But all right, all right, enough talking, enough of telling. We got some doing and then we gotta get to doing. I got a pistol and I got these guys over here that I'd like to take out. So hello, survivors, how do you do? Hopefully, oh my God, there's a lot of them coming. Oh, don't kill me too hard, don't kill me. Okay, we got the guy in the SWAT armor. This guy's got a gun over here though. Hopefully it has some solid durability because I'd love to yeet some. Ah, it's not the best durability, but it's something, something, man. And these guys are dropping stuff. It's They're a little bit dinged up, but still. A gun's a gun, and I'm happily going to take those. And that's another reason that I like this event. Depending on the version you get, you do have an opportunity to take out a couple of fellers like that. Low-key, I wouldn't mind getting a chopper event either to kind of top off of the uh, event trifecta. Even though we just got two events, so it's not really a trifecta. Maybe an airdrop will come too, who knows? But the events that have a chance at giving us some of the best stuff. Because honestly, choppers, those that event will also be getting us some of this stuff. The oak clearing event, as you guys can see, already did get us three weapons. So while we may not have acquired it from a raid still, all in all, loot-wise, we're almost doing better than a raid. Or at least the way that raids like to treat us as of late. Because if you guys have been keeping up, the raids 
Oh, Nelly, have they been brutal. But what will hopefully be a little bit less brutal is the fact that we can go ahead and acquire ourselves a little bit of the oak. And as soon as this thing breaks, come out, come out. There we go, Tiger. We can get plus two to that. I'm going to go ahead and split that up. And this way, we can go on auto mode. And our guy will just go ahead, drag down all the oak trees he can, and chop them down. Bada bing, bada boom. Look who's back in business, baby. Well, who look who's back in the oak harvesting business. We've currently been kicked out of the raiding business for the next 7 hours and 45 minutes until we can acquire that C4, but we did use the C4 on the last raid. We do not have one to our name, and it hurts! We could have had more, but uh, the, these, these packs over here that I... Mm -mm, mm -mm, ain't don't even think about it all right my walls cried too much and i've cried too much from the false hope these things have given us man i'm seriously i i still don't know if i've even gotten c4 oh my god this is what i come back to jesus who did you anger my dude relax I feel, oh my god it's feeling like a freaking raid right now anyways because i have a bejesus ton of these guys all on my bum all right you guys done there can i get back to harvesting golly gee I need to try to live a simple life, and these dudes out here are trying to just be absolute douche nozzles, man. Not cool. Not the cool, my bro. But our inventory has filled up nine more. I mean, like nine is in like no. Oh no no no! Don't don't start picking mushrooms, my man. I don't want mushrooms. No 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 no. Let's let's Dipsky's on out of here. But yeah, as you guys are seeing, no C4 at our disposal currently. Uh, but we do have a couple of prime opportunities coming up because as soon as the blind one and the bunker respawns one more time, we should be able to. So yeah, we should be able to tomorrow get the red chest opened up, which does have a chance of having C4. That could be really good for us. Uh, there is also the grind towards the floppy disk and, of course, the red zones that we can get to running through. And honestly, I'm probably going to do some red zone running after this, except red zone running is long and tedious, especially if you're trying to go after C4. Trust me, I've... Uh, I've gotten C4 from it, okay? I'm not, I'm not saying you can't get C4 from it, but... It is, uh, it's, it's quite a doozy trying to stay on the hunt for it. And from here, where do we want to go? Why don't we, we don't have the energy to do that. Why don't we run over to the dealer? I mean, let's see what he's offering up really quickly. I never really get the opportunity to say hello to this guy. And then we'll run home. I think we'll drop off a couple of the goods we picked up. And probably from there, we can go and do a little bit of work over in Zabunka with some of the weapons that we have stockpiled up from today's shenanigans. And if we're lucky, maybe heading to the dealer heal will cause the chop event to, to spawn. I'd be a fan of that. But for now, I'm just a fan of saying hello to my dealer, buddy. I don't have a stone workbench, man. I don't know why you expect me to bring that with. This guy... Seriously, ask for the most random things. Like, if I'm in a zombie apocalypse, all right, and someone wants one of my magical weapon crates of randomness, I am not asking them for a workbench of stone. Maybe I'm just crazy for thinking this, but who knows? Let's drive on home. We have a ton of oak logs we can toss into our uh, refining machinery as well, and also a ton of hatches that we are going to need to get stashed away while we do attempt to mentally and physically and lutically prepare for the raid that's currently has a whole ton of stone but honestly here's the thing too i'd love to hear from you what do you, do you think we should go forward with that raid because the steel it's sketching me out man i don't know i i that might be one of those raids that kafir haven't caught on to yet because kafir has been actively trying to remove steel bases but i don't know man like it, it, it's just tough because i've found the bases like that before i've wasted my c4 on them and I don't know, man. That one just looks, uh, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. So like I'm saying, please let me know. I need your guys' input on this. I always try to get y'all involved with the series, and this is prime time because this is a decision that we're going to have a little bit of time to make, and as such, I want you guys to chime in because I honestly don't know what the proper decision is, especially if we get C4 because then I don't just want to waste C4 and be in the same predicament as we are now. You know what I mean? But I'm going to put stuff away. Talk to you on a sec. And with a couple weapons in hand, a whole ton of starvation trying to sneak up upon us and a little bit of thirst, we are pretty much ready to go. Let me just go ahead and put the rest of those things into there. And mm, mm, of course, we're one short. God 
dang it. I hate when that happens, dude. That's why I hate that you, like, I don't hate it, but you gotta admit, I hate that, like, if you put in a perfect 20 stack, it just, it, it does not the multiple, right? And 20 isn't a multiple of three, so you have leftovers, and then if you bring a stack over, you can't put the entire stack in. Ah, oh, my life's a struggle, but it's actually not that big of a struggle. This is the struggle that we're currently uh, in the middle of. The struggle of trying to get more lens, especially with some of those extremely rare active mods coming up. Speaking of that, why don't we go ahead and actually look through them again and try to, again, recap the ones that we saw. I'm pretty sure this is the one of the pistol that we saw it's looking like it's the bottom one so far the bottom of each category tends to be the best one so we may have actually been witnessing the very best mod and that's another thing i'm interested in seeing too if these mods are just gonna be adding in the active skills or if they're also gonna have some stat boost i'm i feel like they're gonna have stat boost too that'd be pretty wild not to have anything like that but for real looking at that and that little dump like second barrel there Dude, I think there's a chance of some double shotgun rain. And that's what I'm looking forward to. But look at the AK. We got this thing over here and the bayonet, the two things that we saw. But then the interesting thing is when we get over here to the uh, M16 slash M4, I will always forget. I will never remember, dude. They start with the same letter. It's, it's no bueno. But I'm not seeing the grenade launcher here is an under attachment, meaning either that was not this gun that we're seeing or even more attachments are going to be coming down the pipeline. Either way, that either means a new gun or more attachments so all in all either outcome seems like a positive one to me but okie dokie my artichokies i gotta actually modify this m16 because i think we can go ahead and toss no we cannot toss because we already have the muzzle break on it all right well we can't toss anything like that but we could go ahead and toss ourselves to the bunker with our flash looking booty because we are moving oh so fast and try to continue putting a dent into the hard mode population and as we do that continue putting a dent into the next amount of time until we need let's go ahead and Ah, let's get to running there. I don't want to use up any of my fuel, man. That 200 out of 200 is too beautiful. It's got to be left that way. And you never know when we might be needing to do a cross-country road trip. Although, I don't know, dude. Speaking of cross-country road trips, we haven't ventured to the north in a minute. I mean, besides the copper that you're getting from there and the oak that you're getting from there, it's not really a reason to visit unless, I guess, like, blueprints is... Actually, no, no, no. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Oaks do... I don't know if they do drop better loot, but from what I've seen personally going up to the Oka Zones, I haven't been to the Winter Zones in a minute, I'm not gonna lie, but the Oka Zones, they tend to have a little bit better loot drops. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe that's just, maybe that's just the, the maple syrup talking. I had some maple syrup on my pancakes today. I'm sorry, all right? I went, went a little bit too crazy on the maple. I'll try and slow down, all right? I need, I need a Canadian friend to properly teach me the right around the maple syrup that you need on a pancake. But until then, I will eat my pancakes to the best of my ability. And we should have a couple of guns here because I haven't come back yet. I'm going to go ahead and finish hauling stuff back this time. How close are we to that next floppy? Ah, not as close as I would have liked. I got to tell you that. Almost close to getting that next one. But we got some guns and we got some usage to go. Hopefully we acquire some water too from today's shenanigans. But without further ado, down to floor three we go. Let's start putting a dent into this because we need some C4 badly, man. We really, really need some C4 badly. Otherwise, I don't know. Like, we might not even end up going to that raid. Like I said, it's up to you guys. Please, please, please chime in. But depending on what you say, we might not even end up going to that raid. But C4 is still a very valuable thing to have. And it sucks not having any. Trust me. It sucks. Oh, I wish I was more. I wish I didn't use it as freely, man. But bases and stone walls are just too tempting to let go also ooh, the fully modded ak low key actually can get a good amount of shots off before it starts missing a lot of stuff uh did i bring i did not bring a second pistol oh mama mistakes have been made <gasps> Ooh, you know what i do want to test as well doink obviously shooting this guy with a little bit of colt python action i want to see if the speed glitch or at least the amount of speed that i'm at is enough to outrun the frenzy giant when he enters super saiyan mode and see ya he is nowhere close to us look at this frenzy giants no longer become horrifying when you're using this glitch to the best of your ability still not as awesome as the full auto glitch let me just say the ability to turn shotgun storm into a shotgun monsoon 
a lot better than what we're doing here but let's let's not take away from the fact that this amount of speed is absolutely amazing because long story short if you're doing it right if you're using it right nothing should ever be able to catch you and it's just a whole ton of damage output being done and that's why they're probably gonna fix this i know a lot of people were bummed that it's probably is gonna get fixed that you guys were saying that they should leave it in I, I just don't think that they can because this is actually super OP because if you do it, you just get to the point where actually if you're doing it right, nothing can kill you. Like literally nothing can catch up to you. This explorer, even the frenzy giant in Super Saiyan mode was like, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and give up on that puppy. Sorry, Exploder, come on. I need you to blow up a little bit here. I wanna kill you. I wanna kill a couple of your brethren and then uh, just collect your stuff. I, that sounds really bad out of context, but you know what I mean. No, even in context, that still sounds bad. No, it, it's slightly less bad because it is zombified, uh, theoretical brothers that we're talking about. You know what I mean. What you got, dog tag? Come on, man. I need better stuff than dog tags. Listen, dog tags are nice. They're better than nothing. But they only, like, they, this gives us twice as much XP as a dog tag. And the notebooks give us three times. And oh, no, I'm about to start thirsting to death. Please. <sighs> Ah! <laughs> no, we can't loot while we're thirsting to death. Uh, I'm gonna go and try to acquire some water. All right, we're Gucci. I grabbed some more beans from there, so that's good because then I just want to go and eat the three beans that I had left. And we got some water as well, so that's Gucci. But yeah, we had like three beans. Technically, we could have ate them, but then all that would have happened that would have just given us like 15 hydration, which would have just slightly delayed the problem. This is a problem we got to get to solving, and uh, I think we solved it a little bit better than before. We should be looking pretty good so floor three i return i know i know hold the round of applause listen there's some damage that's got to get done specifically to mr frenzy giant over here after grabbing yet another dog tag of disappointment there's a reason they start with the same letter dog tag disappoint oh dear god my name starts with d2 uh but this is not good oh no i've become a disappointment dear god Ah! Yep, yeah, I mean, we're definitely not picking up anything good from these lockers, so disappointment it is. Nothing like some thick fabric when we're on the hunt for hard mode items. Uh, what do we got to deal with? Well, this thing's about to break, and this thing's out of break. Yeah, let's just use the rest of these two things. So just use this till it breaks, and then shots! Oh my god, 90 damage! Gun! Dude, I love this thing. Rain! Oh, that only did 50. Come on, man, that could have been so dope. Ooh, look at that. A couple of shots. Oh, man, we got more. We got more. Shotgun raid. Ain't a raid to call it a day there. <gasps> See ya. Oh, man. I thought that might have done 90. Actually, if it did 90, it would have had one health left. So shotgun raid to you. Goodbye to your like. Give me notebooks. Why, Frenzy Giants? Why? It's almost like Last Day on Earth is scheming against me today. We ain't getting no notebooks. We got, honestly one of at least from the outside one of the hardest raids to decide if it's worth raiding because there is stone that we can't get through but a we don't have that c4 yet to be able to do and b dude just the sign of steel walls in a stone base is just worrying because that means that they probably if they if they have steel walls on the outside there's probably like enough steel walls for a safe room where they're keeping the stuff safe so it's just i don't know man it's a hard decision that i really really do want your guys to help to decide but for now we need to get to this computer computer activate the codes the co oh did i ever loot this actually oh i did it hey oh my god i knew i was forgetting something important what you got inside you little chest <gasps> this is a good type of chest my man it's got a red ticket it's got that why can't why can't any zombies be carrying that type of stuff literally that is the dream that is the dream for every job zombie to drop a red ticket and a military notebook. Cannot go wrong with that. And I can't go wrong with some shotgun raid or some toxic spinners. I just want to shotgun raid everything right now. See ya. Dude, we literally got three critical hits in a row. Why is shotgun raid so amazing? We did 76 three times before we did the normal amount of damage. It's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Whoever allowed the shotgun to be modified like this, it has improved the quality of my life by probably like tenfold minimum all right and that's on a bad day on a good day probably 50 million fold but all right exploders yo time has come oh no i got both these guys on my bum dang it can you just go ahead and take some critical hits so i could just finish off <gasps> yes see ya 
in your head too. Right, hopefully I got like a hole in one with that thing because that thing was starting to roll. And we can go ahead and get some damage off with this. Eight is the normal, 12 is the critical. And we should have the speed to be able to outmaneuver this guy pretty much in most, if not all locations. That's the reason I usually run back a lot, but given this new uh, speed over here that we're able to utilize, it is a, uh... oh, see ya. If I just started missing, there we go. That's a good frenzy giant. If I just started biffing all those shots, that was about to get a little bit fogly. Hey, at least we got something. Honestly, getting a dog tag out of like storage, that's good. All right, that's that's better than expected. But whenever like an exploder drops a dog tag, it's like, come on, bro. I know you got better than that in you. Do I have better than this in me? Okay, well, we're starting to run a little bit low. At the very least, I want to use the rest of this weaponry, and there's still a lot of Frenzy Giants for us to take out, so we're going to start doing that. Uh, I wonder if switching weapons actually... No, it does not look to reset. Has anyone figured out exactly how the missing works and how the game calculates if you're going to miss or not? Like, it's probably like a chance at missing. That makes a whole ton of sense, but it's like, how do you know when that chance is, and how do you... Like, like how does it increase? It just... Eh. I don't know, because I feel like I kind of like stop shooting sometimes, wait a couple seconds, I start shooting again, and I'm just missing shots again. It's It feels like you have to really like stop shooting for a okay amount of time, which, I mean, I guess that's realistic. Like if, if, if the stock of the gun just got done freaking destroying your shoulder from holding full auto forever, like you're probably not going to be the most accurate for a couple seconds, but still, man, I just got, I just not, I don't know. I just got no clue exactly how long those couple of seconds are. Mr. Locker, what you got for me? You got a dog tag. All right, see, this is, I'm a fan of this. This is getting a little bit better. This frenzy giant's getting a little bit deader. And that loot within that chest is getting a little bit closer. Can you just please not dodge my bullets, by the way? Honestly, how am I missing? And oh my God, he went way faster than I thought he would. How am I missing any bullet shoot at the frenzy giant? Low key, he's a pretty big target. Honestly, like if you are, aiming anywhere within his direction, I feel like it's pretty hard to miss. Maybe that's another thing Kafir should actually go ahead and take into account when it comes to calculating misses, maybe how big of an enemy you're shooting at, because that definitely makes sense, because if I'm shooting at like a 50 story high building, you know, not a building, well, I mean, I guess that too, but if I'm like shooting at a zombie as tall as like a skyscraper, right, and I'm still missing, I'm sorry, my dude, I don't think I can miss a 50 foot tall skyscraper zombie, but I, I don't know, I guess, you know, we are talking about me, there definitely is a way that I could miss that, but I ain't missing these Toxic Abomination, because these are the ones we do full damage to these are the glitched ones but they can still drop good stuff and come on stop missing man jesus i'm not worried about this exploder getting to us either because he's this exploder doesn't even blow up i am surprised like kafir's never patched us or anything that's been in the game for a minute but i ain't complaining i like me a couple of easier to kill zombies than usual and i'm we do not have the weapons today unfortunately to deal with the room of doom what is the room of doom you might ask uh this room that literally has give or take about 50 zombies chilling in it uh ooh, i wonder especially with this speed oh there might be a bit of a shortcut within ooh, i've never actually taken this way i want to see if this is possible is actually something new? How, how fast does this start hurting me honestly not that fast yolo 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 well, would you look at that? A little bit of a sneaky deaky shortcut, and I don't have to deal with all the shenanigans, but I'm gonna have to deal with some toxic spitters here. And I don't really have anywhere to run to, so Kawabunga, my dudes, start dying a little bit faster because okay, never mind, never mind. We can start kiting now. There's a kite that we can start. That door. Oh no, we can't open. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh dude, they're gonna strip me naked. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. They're gonna start doing way too much damage when that happens, and mm, I don't mmm. We might, I'm trying to do the math here. We might not have enough guns to go and get the terminal open, but can we open this door? Is that a thing? I, I have no clue if we can open that door manually. I know that that door has to get opened by the terminal though, and so does that one. And we're not getting to the, unless we can open it from this side. Uh, we'll have to see. Only one of you guys, how did none of you, there are like six toxic spitters. One of y'all gotta drop something good for me. Give me that notebook that I'm just oh so eyeing. Come on, baby. Yes! I'll take me a little bit of glue too. I can't go wrong with that. All right, now the moment of truth. Can the frenzy giant get mucked by me? Hopefully the other guy doesn't decide to start chasing me too. Uh, no, it does require terminal activation. God dang it, Bobby. I suppose that we can't get to the other side and 
I don't know, man. Given the weapon situation here, uh, especially, honestly, I kind of want to keep this full, all, full quality AK, especially since I haven't really gotten any attachments for the AK yet. So this could be a great, great thing since it is full durability for us to actually modify once we do start investing into some. And if it has a grenade launcher, let me, that'll probably 100% be something we invest into because a grenade launcher would probably be the perfect mod for dealing with the witch. As you guys have seen us deal with her, uh, you tend to have to blow yourself up if you want to very effectively take care of all her minions. What? Well, I mean, what better way than having an active skill to shoot a grenade and you can keep your rifle out at the same time and continue wrecking some face. I'm just saying that sounds like a recipe to success for me, but who knows? Maybe I'm not a successful chef or a chef of success because successful chef just makes it sound like I'm actually a chef. No, I mean a chef of success. I whip up, I cook up and I... I cook up in the kitchen, nothing but success. Or maybe I'm just cooking up failure, but disguising as success, and no one can tell. Who knows? But that's going to start wrapping up for this episode of Last Day Otter Survival. Like I said, I am not looking forward to looking through all of these zones, uh, trying to find C4, but I am looking forward to taking out the blind on next episode, inching our way closer and closer to the floppy disk, and uh, open that puppy up in a little bit. Is this maybe enough to get us up to halfway? We do have like five notebooks, mm, give or take 40%. So realistically, we should be able to get the floppy disk within the next bunker run, which is good. And more glue. So that's very good as well. But it's going to start right on four steps of the last day on our survival. Best of luck to you guys and gals. Get in your chopper gas tank and join it. The chopper squadron. Best of luck breeding your pups. Get the best perks that you can. Leveling up your attachments and building them and tossing them on every which weapon that you can. Best of luck protecting your base. Going on raids. Hopefully raids that you can complete and not raids that smack you with the hand of disappointment. Best of luck in defeating the bosses. Get it past the multiplayer wall the most important of all having yourselves an absolutely fan for fantastic time all throughout but let's go ahead and do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves an awesome one i'll talk to you next one see ya